Thank you, everyone. Welcome back for the third day. I see Fauzia had a question here. Hello, I have some questions about a, 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 a BU. Can I ask them? You mean Abu Dhabi University? Of course, you can ask them. Please go ahead and ask those questions uh, if, if you want. The other thing, as we said, you can raise your hand if you have done some work. You would like to show show me your work, or you have difficulties in some of the work you have done. You just let me know, so we can use this ten minutes to do that. Otherwise, I will go and explain a new topic. If you have no questions, we will we'll continue to practice what we have done uh, before. As I said before, this requires practice. If you practice more, you will will be much better. Okay, so if you want to speak, you raise your hand, then I'll give you a chance to speak. So I think that nobody has any question, then we will go ahead and start uh, our session and we'll get you some uh, interesting uh, topics. So back to sharing screen. And here we are. Last time we were uh, in, in bubble. I'll go to bubble. I'll just rearrange some of the things on the screen. And see some people already have their hand up. We'll move it into the other side. That's good. And if we very good. Okay, so last time what we did, we went into our app, we created a post, if you remember. So what we did, we came with this nice, we don't want to upgrade. If you get that upgrade, leave it. What we did last time, we first we started by adding the logo, then we added the name and the image of, of the person. And then we said when the user log in, uh, it will allow him or allow her, let me put my video aside as well, so we have a better screen. Now let's try it. If I go to the page now, we'll see our page. And last time, some of you added some of this information. And you can see I have here, let's refresh. I have here, what is in your mind, Hamad. So I click, I can now add the context I need, I need to add. And then it will appear in this place. So this is the way you all added your data. And we said we will format it, we'll make it look better than what's looking now. So today I will fix this one. I'll make some nice formatting to make this one looks good. The other thing later, we will add an image here. If someone wanted to post an image, how we can make him or make her post an image. I think I will start by posting the image because I will teach you something new. So I want the user to be able to post an image here as well as the text. So this comes more organized. To do that, I will introduce you to the plugins, these plugins. To do that, we need plugins. That there's a way without plugins, we can do it. But if you use the plugins, the plugins will make it look nicer, uh, we'll see. So let's go to the plugins. And I will search for a plugin called Rich Text. If you type Rich, you will get this one, Rich Text Editor. There are many of them free, and some of them you have to pay money. You don't need to pay any money. Just go for the first Rich Text and install it. See how easy to install it? That click done everything. Now, if I close, I can go now back to the design and I can add it. So what I did, I went into plugins and clicked on add a plugin and I searched for rich. And I found the rich text. I clicked install and install. Now, if I want to know about these plugins before installing it, there is usually a page for that one. If I click on it here, it will open the page. 
and it will explain to me how it work. Yeah, this one I know very well how it will work. Then I'm going to show you how to, how it will work. And sometimes they give you a test. You can test it and see how it looks like. Let's go back here and I go to the design. Now, if I, I want to change that post, Bob, Bob, this one, and instead of this one, I'll put that rich text and you will see how beautiful this will, will look like. So I remove this one. I will go here and search for rich and I'll find the rich text and I take it, I put it here. Now this, I want it to be above, move it previous and then I center it. This is the rich text there. Now I can give it name here, I call it post content. And you can see I have two errors here. Why? Because I removed the old one, I put a new one. So I need to map my, my uh, details. I can click here and then I'll go through this one and do it, but let me do it the right way. So if I click on save, the changes need to be in safe. So I need to replace this one. I put this one instead of the multi-line input. So I'll click on save. I go to appearance. Always, if you want to add action or workflow, you need to go into appearance. And you click here. Now I am here. This is the one need to be created. See, this is the red one that I'm looking for. So this one is pointing to the old one. I will delete it. And I'll say here, rich text. I'll find it, post, and then I'll get the value. Now, now we're done. If you go back, what has changed? Let me try it to, to show you how it changed. Now, let me get here and go to YouTube. Find, I'm doing something else on my other screen. Don't worry about it. You will see it in a second. And then I'll go there. Here is one video that we did last time. We'll just copy it. Um, you will see it in a second. Don't worry. Now, let me come back here now. Now, if I click on post, you see I get something that has some format there I can add. So I can say, welcome to Abu Dhabi University, whatever I want to say. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Then I have an image I need to add. I can click here and find the image from my computer. If I have any nice image that I want to show you, uh, these are all work images, which may be not what you want to see. But I will add the video instead of the image. There is an image here, there is a video. Let me add the video and you'll see. Click here, click save. See? See this post now? Looks nice, isn't it? It has a video in it there. And it can have a picture, it can have anything because I use rich text and rich text is very rich. Allow me to do so many things uh, to, to do that. Yeah, so that's one thing. Now you notice when I click it again, it comes with some information, yeah? I don't want it to come with some information. I need, if I click, I get a new one. So what I need to do here to do that, I need to do something after I save the data. So click on save data. I need to reset the form. So I did hide. There is also in the elements, reset data. This, if you want to, after you save the data, you need to make the form empty back. So what you do, you go elements and you go into this group and reset data. So we we'll reset which one, the post one, yeah, done. Now, if I do another one and let me do another one and get you any post, it's empty again. You can write down here anything. You can add a image, video, link, change the format, Let's change the font, do everything, but let's add an image and let's find something uh, align canvas. Yeah, we have a beautiful canvas in align. So this is the image of align canvas came. And then if I save it, it's saved. 
Now, if I click again, it comes empty. Yeah. So now I, how I did that? I went into the pop-up and I said, after you save the data, reset the, the page, reset this page. So I clicked here, I went into start. Now there are three steps here. One is creating the data or creating the post. The second one is hiding the, pay, the post uh, pop-up. And the third one is resetting, is resetting the post pop -up. This can be before this one. There's no issue. You can put this one before this one or after. The sequence will not make difference. But the logical one, you create, you reset the form, you hide the form. This is the logical, but it doesn't make any, any difference. You notice now our page is getting, getting to become nicer. Yeah. What I don't like here is this guy here. I want his name and thing come on the top there. If you look at the Facebook, they have it on the top. Let me give you this link. You can start adding some videos to this one, and then I will uh, show you how it will appear. So where is you that chat? And okay. Now you can start adding uh, data to this one. You need to log in uh, and then you, you do that. Yeah, because I'm already logged in. I'll give you two minutes, three minutes to, to post at least one thing. Post something nice because I, we can see your name and details. Okay, now while you do that, don't do it. Just let, uh, watch me and later we can do it. As, as I said, I need to fix this one, make it look nice. I need to add thumb up and thumb down. So people now can say, oh, this is nice, this is bad. So you can get some, some, some voting on, on, on that one. And we can easily do this. We'll go back here. Before we do thumb up and thumb down, this is the full picture. As you can see, it's an image. And this is the name of the person, okay? The name of the person is a little bit big. Let me make it only pixels and make it 200. This is good enough. These two, I need to group them together. So I want them to come one group together. So how I do that, I click on the first one, I click shift and click the other one. Now the two are selected. I need to make them a group. I do right mouse click. On Mac, I do two fingers, but in Windows, you do right mouse click. And then you go into group elements in, means I'm going to group them in. I will group them in row, because I want them to come beside each other. So this is what I did. I selected the first one. I did uh, uh, shift and selected the other one. The two being selected, I did right mouse click. I went into group elements in and then selected row container. So we'll do that. Now they are grouped together. They are somewhere grouped where they are. We will find them now, they disappear. Let's look here. These are the two things where they are. You've gone somewhere. Let's bring them back as they were, here is it. Yeah, these are the two. So let's make the two, let's group them again into a row. And I'm going to give them uh, a percentage 90. Okay, they are now up here. And I'll give them height zero. And I will make them centered. I'll push them up. Hmm? Okay, I'll give it background. Now you will see how it will look in seconds. Let's do this. Let's give it a background uh, that is something like this. Maybe we'll fix it later with a better background. Now, if I go and review, you will see now. This is this person. I need to center his uh, name. I need to give space between them. I need to make this one somehow like a circle. So these are the things I need to do. So this one, I need it to be centered. I go into layout and put center. 
you don't see it here, but it will be really centered. And this is centered. If we look here, the name will come centered. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing I need to make space between this and that. So I'll put to the right five points, to the left five uh, points. That's give them uh, some some space. This one I want it to be round. So in the appearance, this is the image. Yeah, uh, going to the appearance, I remove the style. Then I'll find here round roundness. I'll make twenty. Now it will look somehow better than what it was before, isn't it? Maybe I make this one smaller. So I go in the layout and make it 40. 40 maybe, maybe better. It will start coming nicer to do. Now there is one issue with this one. It doesn't look center. Why? Because this one is taking more height. So I'll make this one zero. These things with experience, you work in it, you work in it, you will know it. So I noticed that one, I did it quickly. Why? Because I've been doing it for multiple uh, times. So now it comes, looks like that. And remember in Facebook, they have something here, private or public, which the user can control uh, to do. We will add it later. But what I need to add now, below this one, I need to add thumb up and thumb down. So the users can say, I like it, I didn't like it, and then they can add comments. So how I can do it, I can copy this one, which I already have here, copy, paste. I will push it down. Let's make the color looks different so we can recognize this is something maybe different. I'm not good with colors, but I will just choose something to show you what it mean. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. Oh, sorry, I need to keep at least one of them because this is zero. I'll make the height 40 now. Yeah, I will remove this one. Now I need to add here thumb up and thumb down. At the moment, if you look at it in the page, it looks like this. We, we will fix the color, we'll make it beautiful. It, it's empty, there's nothing. I need to add thumb up and thumb down and then put numbers beside it. When more people click thumb up, the number goes up. Okay, things like, like that. So what I will do now, I need to uh, find an icon that I can have here that shows the thumb up. I have here something called icon. See this icon and this icon, put it there. And here comes all those icons. I think there's something called up. Uh, that's it, thumb up. And I can copy it and put uh, another one. Let's not copy it. Let's very center this one. Then we will deal with the other one. I need to add a number just beside it here. That will appear. A number, I need a text. I take a text here. Okay. Put it here. I will center it. This text will show me later the number. I can group these two together and make them group. You noticed I'm repeating myself. Yeah. With 120. Yeah. I'm, it's repeated. It's a repeated process. Now, this is for the thumb up. Let's create another one for the thumb down. Okay. Let's copy, paste. We'll go here and make this one. Thumb down, down, maybe we'll find this thumb down. Do you see it? This one is not the one I'm looking at. Thumb. No, we'll find it. We'll find the thumb up easily, but we will find the thumb down. Here is it. Yes. Now there is no functionality. There is just only design. Yeah. If we look at it, 
we can see it's refreshing. We can see the thumb up and down, but we click on them, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. So we need to make something happen. Now, someone of you will say to me, this post seems closer to each other. I need the space between this one and this one. So how I do it, I can come to this one and I go down and let me add maybe down 30. Look at it now. I just with 30 to show you an example. Now there is space between those different posts that's happening and we can make them even more nicer to do. Now we need to add this functionality of some thumb up and thumb down. So you can react to those different things we have here. Okay, so how I do it? I need a place where I can save this thumb. Remember when we ask uh, ChatGPT, yeah, my, my best friend ChatGPT uh, about uh, the databases and it told us that we need a database for thumb up and down. Let's create that one. We'll go here in the data. We need to store it somewhere. So we'll create something, call it thumb up down, whatever name you like to call it, yeah? Can you can call it thumb up space down. This system is very flexible. If you teach, if you're learning Python or Java or C, uh, you will find it, uh, you need to be careful with the naming of your variables or your database. Spaces cannot be used and, and things like that. But here you can have space, you have anything. So we'll create a data where we'll store it. What are we going to store in that one? We need to store thumb up and down. There's a better way to do it. I changed my mind. Let's go to the post itself. Yeah. And we need to add here the users who will say thumb up or down. So I'll add in the end, I have content, I'll add to the content is thumb up. So many ways you can do the same thing, yeah? Thumb up, I'll add it. I will call it here user. So I'm going to store here the users who did thumb up because I need to know who really did the thumb up. <coughs> <coughs> So I'll add it, but I will do one thing. You need to be to watch it carefully. I need to click this box. Why? Because there are multiple users who will do thumb up. It's a list, not single user. If it's only one user, it will be like this. But I will have Ahmed, Abdullah, Ibrahim, John, uh, Kumar, all the people will, will, will do that. So I need to add a list. So thumb up users. In the post, I'll add another one, thumb, thumb down, yeah? And again, it's a user. These are the users who will react to my page and it's a list of them. You notice what I did? I went into, I repeat it again, yeah? Why I need this? Because I need when someone click here, his record will be added to the post as someone who did thumb up. When I click here, this person record will be added to the list of people who made thumb down. Okay, so because I need that, I need to go to the database, I go to the post and add to it two things, thumb up and thumb down. Each of them is a user type but they are list of users, list of users. I'll show you how this work is very easy to work now. Now, if I click on thumb up, what I will do, I will change the thumb up in that post to by, by adding the current user to it. Okay, we'll do that. So we click on thumb up, I'll go here. What I need to do, I need to make changes in the data, make changes to think. The thing I want to do is the current 
parent group post. This is the one I need to change. What I want to change in it, I need to add to its thumb up. I need to add to it the current user. So I change the current post, which where the user is clicking on by adding that user to the thumb up of that uh, post. Assume that post has two buckets, one bucket for adding people who say up, or one bucket adding people for saying down. If that user said thumb up, then his name will be added to the up. And another one said up, his name will be added to the up. Now we have two. Then another one, three name added up. Then one came and put thumb down, he added to the other pocket. Yeah, so now we adding user to thumb up, okay? But when you add someone to the thumb up, you need to remove him from the thumb down. Why? Because you cannot click thumb up and down at the same time. You need to be recorded in only one place. So we'll add here thumb down and we will remove the current user. So he has to be in one pocket. He cannot be in the two pockets or she cannot be in the two pockets. So this is why when we add him to the thumb up, we remove him from the thumb down. That's done. Now, if I go now and look at this one here and do the same thing, I will go into the data, make change to thing. What is the thing is our current post group, yeah? What the changes I need to do? I need the two, one thumb down, now he here he clicked on thumb down. So we need to add him or add her, or is the current user to the thumb down. And for the thumb up, we need to remove him or remove her from the thumb uh, up. Okay. So now these are the two options. Now how the data will appear, we need to do here something. This two, this one should show the count of thumb up. This one should do the count of thumb down, isn't it? So here we'll do the count, we'll click here. We will say current post, thumb up, count. Yeah, we want to show the count of thumb up. This one, we need to do the count of thumb up, down. So we click again and say here, current post, thumb up, down, count. Now let's look at our design and see how things working now. The zero, zero, if I click here, went up. If I click again, it will not go up because I can be added only once. But if I change my mind later, I will say, no, it's thumb up, down. It should go down. This one should go uh, zero but I, there's something wrong here we need, we need to fix uh, quickly. But you can see now, there's some, oh, you are now doing it, yeah? Some of you are, are, uh, are doing this. Yeah, not me, it's working, but because some of you are doing it, I can see. Now, can you start doing thumb up and down on this one, just to practice, or any of this? You see, we did it on one, now it appears everywhere. It appears everywhere. We, we don't need to do it for all this list. I did it only for the first one and automatically it comes everywhere. Now I can show the names of these people who did thumb up and the name of these people who came thumb down, which I can add here some reaction and then we will see, we can see who did thumb like in Facebook and other places. So implementing thumb up and down is very easy. Nobody said thumb down except, ah, oh, it's a nice one. I like it. I like cats. Uh, my, my kids, they have so many cats at, at home. They love cats and cats are beautiful to do. That's one. <coughs> oh, looks beautiful, yeah? Now, very good. So we can, we can start now. You can only, not only post, you can post a video, you can post other things to do. 
And I know who is the person posted this one from, from the email, because I know you didn't change your, you didn't click here. You should click here and change your name on, on photo. So your name and photo will appear here. But if you don't do that, I know your email address because you register with an, with an email. So you can, any one of you can click on this uh, and on his name or her name and change your details. So it appears on, on, on your post. If you post anything, we can see your name uh, comes in and, and appear. Yeah? So we've implemented easily, thumb up and thumb down. Uh, did you find it easy? I will repeat it again before I go to Zoya and uh, Zia. Yeah? So when we do it, thanks. Okay, let me answer this one quickly. Sorry, okay. Now you added this one and if you put something big, you want to change it. Yeah, yeah. by the way, when you upload anything, show you if I uploaded, for example, a picture about Abu Dhabi University or I here and let's see, I'm not sure what is this, but let's see. This one came, yeah? And I want to adjust it. I can click on it and adjust the size. So you avoid having something too big and large there. And if I do that, then it comes the right uh, size I need it to come. But anyway, you need to adjust. This one is too big, it's destroying everything. So I need to delete yours. Okay, fine, we'll do now how we can delete a post. Okay, so what we will do now deleting a post. Now this post, we can have a delete button here. We'll add a delete button here. Okay, and we'll call it delete. And we'll make it uh, I think we need to make the font smaller. I think this one should go outside this one, yeah. Uh, let's delete this one anyway. Where is our delete? We'll add the delete somewhere here. Let's add it here. Okay, we'll call it delete. Yeah, and we will fix it because it has some additional things here, making it maybe zero, 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 zero. Okay, so I added delete now. If you open this one, which uh, I don't know who created this issue, but we will now delete it. So I have delete here. I'll give you the option to delete only yours now. What I, this is very clever, yeah? See, if I do delete now, you will be able to delete any one post. No, I'll give you the option to delete only your post. So I'll add a condition to this delete, and this delete will appear only if the post creator 
is the current user. See how beautiful it is. If the post creator is the current user, this one will be visible. Otherwise, I will hide it from here. Now, if you look at the here, I will be able to delete only the things I posted. I can delete this one, but I can't now because I didn't add the functionality yet. But I can delete this one, which someone else created. I cannot delete this one, which someone created. I can delete only the things I created. So the delete will appear only for me. By what? By adding a condition here. If the, the post creator is the current user, make it visible. And in the layout, I will remove this one. We're saying this element is uh, visible. I don't want it to be visible by default. By default, it should not appear. Now I'll add to you the option to delete it. So if I click here and go in appearance and click start workflow, I go where? I go to the data because I want to delete. I go data, delete thing. What is the thing I want to delete? Is the current post. Now you as the users can delete your own post. So I can delete this one. It's gone. And I can't delete this one. I can't give my right myself the right to delete this one, but I don't want to do that. But I can show you now. You can delete things that you posted because you are the one who posted it. Now, the other thing I can allow you to edit it. Now you, you are able to delete, let me allow you to edit it as well. So I come back here, this one, and add copy, paste. Where is it? Here is it, here is it. I'll change this one to edit. Now this button should allow you to edit, but it will appear only for your area. At the moment, it will not work. If you click on it, you click on edit, nothing will happen. Yeah, because I, if you may click on edit, there's nothing happening there because I didn't add the functionality. I didn't add the workflow. How I do the workflow, we'll go back here. We'll, let's fix this one a little bit, make space between them. I always like this five, five, and then the other one, five, five. By this way, I have 10 between the two. And uh, you stay consistent with your numbers, your design will look beautiful. Now we need it, when you click here, it opened that pop-up, this one should appear. And within this pop-up, you should be able to change uh, your, your post. So we need to click here. Now, one thing we need to do before this pop-up, let's look at it again. Uh, does it have any data type? We need to click outside, not here, not here, not here, oh, it's here, somewhere here. Not any of the component on the pop-up itself. So it appear pop-up post. If I'm here, it appear rich text here. Uh, now I need it to appear pop-up post. When it appear pop-up post, I need to change the content type to post. Now this one will store the current post we have, okay? The second thing I need this one by default, it loads the current data. So I go to the initial content and click here and say parent current content or post content. Now I prepare this one to do the steps, the two steps. One step I need to prepare the pop-up the other thing, I need to add the functionality. When you click here, it sends the data to the pop-up and then ask the pop-up to appear on the screen. So two steps now I need. One, to send data to the pop-up. What data I should send? The current post. And then I need to uh, display the pop-up. So these are the two actions. Click here. I need to send data to the pop-up. How to send data? You click here. You click element action and you will have here display data. That's where I am. I went into element action. I went into display data. Now, if I click on this one, what should I have here? I should have pop-up post. This is where I want to send it. What data I want to send? The current post. 
current cell cost. Now, data sent to the, to the pop-up, but the pop-up is not appearing yet. Why? Because I didn't say show. So I will click here, element, show, element show, and then post pop-up. Now you are ready to change your post. You'll see now. If I go to any of my posts and you can do, I click here, see, it came this image. I don't like the image or I need to say align campus Abu Dhabi University. This is the best campus anywhere because we just built it a year and some, some time ago and it's one of the best. If you visit it, you will love it uh, in terms of what's inside that, that canvas. So now I added something, some caption to it. I can edit it further. Okay, and add some space here so it looks better. So I can edit my post now. You can edit your post, but I cannot edit your post. You cannot edit my post. Yeah? This is the way it is. Yeah, someone uploaded the same thing. Oh, no, there is a mistake. That's me who did a mistake. Sorry, I will remove this one. The mistake I did, we have an error here. If you edit yours, it will duplicate it. So don't do that. Wait for me. Wait, stop. Now, what we have here now, when you click on save, and this is good mistake we made. When you click on save, it creates a new post, isn't it? Because it says here, create a new post. I do not want it to create a new post. I want it to create a new post only if there is no data on the, on the pop-up. If the pop-up is empty uh, uh, initially, and then we put data in it, it will create a new. But if initially the pop-up has some data, should not do that, yeah? And how we do this? to say that, so I don't want it to create here. I want it uh, to create only if there is no data in the pop-up uh, initially. Initially it came empty. If it came empty, like this situation, when I click here, it comes empty. If this is empty, create a new one. But if there is something there, change the existing one. Yeah? Okay, let's fix that one now. Now, so we need to click here and have a condition on this one. So this one will create a new one only if the post pop-up is post is empty. If it is initially empty, empty, then it will create a new one. But if it is initially not empty, should update the current one. So we need to add another one here. And we say data make change to make change to uh, post uh, this one post. This is the one we need to change. And we need to change the content post content to be post content uh, rich text post content value. This one should happen only. If this post pop-up, the post in that one is not empty. Uh, so when you open it empty and you add some data to do it, it should save it as a new one. But if you open it with some content in it, then it should update the existing one. So now we are correct. So if you click now and let's do this again, so this one, for example, if I click on it and come here and add some other information, it will update this one. It will not create a new one. This one was old one, which we're removing it. So now you can edit the one. And I need to repeat this one. I need to repeat it. I know you didn't get it. Uh, maybe uh, I, I need to repeat it. I'll show you how it works. I do another one, let me put some space here. And you can have multiple images in, in this page. You don't need to add just add an image. After the image, let's add a video. Uh, 
Abu Abudhabi University Al Ain. Find you a nice video so you can look at Abu Dhabi University Al Ain. Oh, that's very. Let's see. Is this one sounds nice? Nice one. So I'll copy, take this one. The video has a special thing. When you click, you need to click on this one. It open this, you add it and click save. Okay. And then you do that. Just because my page is not really big. Take it there and bring it here. So we have a post now has that one and has the video as well. Hmm? This is an old video. Okay, so you can see now that you can edit your post and you can do react to it and the thing. I'll do the last one, then we can have some discussion. This is maybe getting excited. How we can add comments? How can we add comments uh, to this one? So maybe we need to add somewhere to, we can add comments here. You click, you add your comments and it will appear down here and other people can reply to the comments and continue uh, like that. I think we have done something looks not bad. We need improvement in the design and graphics, but it looks, it looks, it looks good. Okay. Maybe I should stop and listen to you because I've been doing lots of things uh, so far. I know some of you behind. Uh, this may be an opportunity for you to, to ask me questions. So if you want to raise your hand, raise your hand, make sure you want to raise your hand. So I'll give you the microphone to speak and then we'll, we'll go through that. Let me stop sharing for some time. Okay, so who wanted to raise hand? I can see a one hand, Zoya, yes, Zoya, you're waiting for me, good. Sir. Please raise your hand, others. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, Zoya. Sir, remember last year we did not have time. So you said that you will clear the doubt in this class. Sorry? Yesterday we did not have time. So you told me that you'll clear my doubt in this class. Yes, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. What are your doubts? I can't remember exactly what it was, but we can. Yeah. Remember it now. Tell me. So you can share my screen. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll give you sharing screen. Uh, this one which was what I did one thing which I cannot do is that I want to put these things to here but I cannot put them you want to make them like a row yeah yes yeah then then you need to select both of them how you select both of them you click on you one click one then shift and then close yes do that now select both did you select both yeah uh, click on the first one, put your finger on shift, and then click the other one while your finger on shift. If you remove your finger, then, then do right mouse click in the middle of the two, and then you will find group elements N, and then you'll find the row. See, they became that. Now you need to go layout, make a percentage, Percentage, 
make it 90 and check that box for fixed, the one on top of it, just one step up. Yes, to the right. No, no, one step. I said one step, Zoya. Go, where, where is the 90 you put? Yeah, just go one step down, one step up. In between, the, you're running, you're going two steps up. It, it's, you can see, make this element fixed. Look at the screen, don't do anything. Yes, just look yeah. and click the box to the right. Yes. Now you can push this down. You, if you look at the screen, you will see this exactly. And then you can go to the margin down. Just look the screen. You see the word margin? Yes. There is top. There is top below that margin. Do you see the word top? Top. No, no. Yeah. Yes. Make this one 10. And beside it, there is down, make it 10, just to, to be consistent. See, now that's, uh, now you need space between save and close, yeah? Click on save. Now look at the black one. There is something called left, up, up. Not this left, this left. You can see there is margin and there is padding. The margin from outside, the padding from, make it five. Make this one five and make the right five. Repeat the same for same thing for close. Good. Now, now these two are done. What do you want me to do? You need to save the data, yeah? Click on save. And then go to the appearance. Because you need to do action now. When you click here it will ch make changes to the current user and save the pictures in his profile and save the name in his or her profile. So you need to scroll a little bit up in this black one. There's something on the top of this black one, on the top, up the other direction, the other direction, the other direction, go up, bring the up. Let's see the up, let's see the, the upper side, continue. Yes, very good, okay? You can see now start edit workflow. Look at the screen, don't do anything before you look. Very good, this is perfect now. Now click here to add action. What action we need to do, Zoya? We need, we need to do what? The profile uh, things should be saved. Yeah. So we need to make changes to the profile of the current user by saving the image and saving the name. So click here and wait, just click. Do you see data? Don't scroll, I just, yeah, that's data, yeah. Do you see make changes to think on the right little bit? Yes. So this is where we make changes to, to a data. We go to data, we click on make changes to think. Click on that one. Now, what is the thing that we want to change? Zoya. User profile pop-up. No, the thing we need to change is the current user. Yeah, and then in, in the current user, we want to change his uh, uh, name and profile picture. So the, the black one came on the screen now, that's your focus, nothing else. This black one is your focus. You see the, the black window came, which famous black window. There you can see things to change. Yes, click on it. And here, put current user. Where are you? You are here, current user. Now, what we want to change the current user, if you look at this black, there's written without moving your mouse, change another field. Do you see I change another field? Yes. Where is it? Click on it, change another field. 
That's him. Now the field we want to change is the full name of that person. And the other field is the picture or profile or whatever. Click here. Click on the red one, click here. Yeah. Now you should have full name. Now you want to change this full name. To what you want to change it? Click on it and say full name. Type, type, full, full name, type. Yes, here is it again. Input full name. Do you see it? Excellent. Okay, click on value. So I repeated all these things in the video and you should watch the video. If you watch it and stop it, when, when you get in some, stop it and do it exactly the same thing. I repeat it. You will, you will do it. The first class's video was uploaded, but the second class's video was not uploaded. It's uploaded. I gave you the link. If all the videos in one, they didn't upload it. Yeah, maybe you are right. I didn't upload it. Yeah, you are right. I think we didn't upload it. We will upload it. Uh, I think so. someone forgetting to do that. That's fine. Go back to the page. We will upload it again. Click uh, change another field. Now we change the name, we need to change the picture. Click, yeah, click, click. Click on it, please, Zoya. Where are you? Hello? See, I lost you, Zoya. Are you still there? Hello? I think we lost Zoya uh, or I lost something. Are you still there? I don't know. I think we could. Yes, sir. You are here. So I was calling you, Zoya. I, I don't okay. know, sir. Something happened. Something happened. That's my internet. No problem. Okay, I'll stop sharing. Can you share your screen again? But, yeah, now you need, that's very good. So what you need, say the pictures, upload, say upload, type upload there. Upload, yeah, upload, upload. Yeah, here is it. Please click on it. Yeah, and select video. Value? Yeah, value, yeah. Now this will save your your details on 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 the on that page. Uh, but let me um, we'll upload the video later. But let me show you some good resources that you can uh, learn many things from it. Uh, if you uh, stop other person loading, I will share screen. Let's let me show you some places where you can learn. Uh, on, on, on Bubble. So if you are in, in Bubble, uh, and let's come here, and if you go into resources, sorry, go back. You see here resources, resources. If you are on the main page of Bubble, you will see resources. And there are beautiful resources showing you everything you want to learn. You can learn everything from here um, if, if you want uh, to learn. And here there are very nice videos taking you step by step. So if you watch this one, for example, talking about the design and layout, very short video, very nice videos will take you through creating the layout. They are beautiful videos. This only six minutes. And this if you watch it, to repeat it. Part element to see how to use it in designs that we can create with the new responsive controls. Part elements are a popular component that. The very nice videos, I have to say. Take it, take everything. There are many, many, many materials there in the resources which you can look at here. Video lessons, there are manuals there. There are interactive sessions. 
the so many things. Video resources is the most beautiful one, I have to say. This is well documented. It explains anything, how to create whatever I want to create and show you so many things you can, you can, you can do here. So if you go there, you will find so many resources you want, if you want to learn. So here in the resources, there are videos uh, there. There are tutorials as well, uh, manuals, uh, which you can go through if you like to read better than uh, doing video. But this generation, mostly you like to, to look at uh, video. But there are also some templates and there are some uh, showcase example. Example of things created in Bubble. Like for example, there is uh, there are many here. This is one, for example. If you want to look at it, uh, this is an app created using using Bubble here. This page creating using Bubble, and you can go and, and learn from it. You can get a template ready, and then you just make some changes to it. So there's so many examples in almost every area. This is Arabic one from Middle East or from here uh, in our region. Uh, there's one in Arabic as well, I think. This is UAE, this is a beautiful one. Let's see our um, culture and you can design all these beautiful this things. This all is created in bubble? Yeah, these are in bubble. You just go to the resources, you'll find all those things there. Uh, there here there's showcases, you can look at it. There are some templates ready already uh, in place. They also have some coaching so you can, hire someone to take you step by step to learn uh, that one, you can look at it. There is how to build this, this small components of videos and saying how to build, for example, if you want to build Instagram one, uh, this is a text, but they will show you exactly step by step how you create it from beginning to the end. And it's, it's written, they should give you all the code, all the examples, everything there. So you can take this one and follow it step by step. You will create something look like Instagram uh, to do. And this is all the controls, all the details there. You can go and learn all these things. You, uh, you can do beautiful things as well. You need to invest time in it and you need to be patient. Patient means you repeat the same thing five times, 10 times and and until you, you master it. You don't expect you would know it just from first time or someone told you, this is how you do it, you will learn it. We do not learn that way as a human. We learn by experience, by practicing things. If you do not practice, uh, it's not history. We're not talking about history here. We're talking about science, where you need something to practice. You, if in history, you need a way to, to feel you living that history to, to be able to do it. So, so these are examples of so many things, cloning, different uh, Discord. Most of the young people nowadays they are on Discord as well. Creating a LinkedIn Learn. A LinkedIn Learn is one of the beautiful platform to learn additional thing. You can, this one take you step by step to do it. Uh, uh, Headspace, uh, uh, Nextdoor, uh, uh, Dropbox, uh, all those Udemy, uh, Udemy, maybe you don't know, Udemy is one of the best learning uh, platform as well. Uh, and all those examples, how to create those things. It's easy to do it. You need just to be again patient uh, in, in following the steps and you'll find it easy and repeat it. If not, if you follow one, two, three and you do it, that doesn't mean you understand it. You have to repeat it until you can do it yourself without doing it, until, until you can use it somewhere else, which is easy, just you invest time. It's only investing. So Spotify, our, our young people are for Spotify as well. Uh, uh, Facebook, uh, Uber, you can clone Uber and create Uber. Uber, they made a huge business, you know, Uber everywhere. So you can so, maybe in future you can do one like this, and then you start uh, having some cars to manage and and do some transportations and stuff like that. So these are all 
here for you to learn. Yes, you want to learn, you will find all these things available for you to learn. So the resources is huge, as I can see. You have everything. You have the videos that will explain. You have the interactive will take you step by step, but sometimes it becomes a mechanical. You have how to build Uber, how to build whatever. You have many ways you can follow. There are templates you can get. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. So if I want to create Canva, uh, canvas, for example, this canvas, yeah. And this one is a dashboard. Uh, these are templates already there. You just can import it in your application and you start uh, you start doing, doing things with it. Like this one is a project management one. If we look at it, uh, here's one. And if you say use this template and use now, Go to my app and we'll call it our new store here. I assume someone else used this name. Uh, here. I'm just coming with any name that it will be a new name. Okay. We create, just copy that one, create the app. Now this will delete everything we did, almost. Or we'll create a new app for us. I'll create a new app for us, that's good. Now, we, now this is ours. We can edit it, change it, do any change thing to it. And we, if we run it, see this is our new app. We just created it from a template. We did nothing. But we can go now and do some coding and changes. So this is our app now. It looks very nice. I can change this landing space, change this image, uh, add some other uh, information to it. And then I can uh, start adding database and change all those things. This becomes now my, my, my app. This is a new app we just created uh, now. So you can use those templates to do many things uh, and you use it and then you start changing it but you will not reach that level until you understand really what you are doing yeah now we have two apps this is our original app and this is the one we just copied so the one we copied we have full control in it it's our app it's a new one looks beautiful in design and everything and we can start uh, working with it. You can, if you can look at here, you will see it has number of pages already in place. It has a dashboard, index. These are multiple uh, pages to do. So you should be able also to use some of the existing template to start creating your own, own apps. Okay, let me go to the others who are raising their hand. And uh, Zoe, I think I answered you. You need to spend some time just uh, practicing, and you you doing yes, fine. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank and you. And please upload. I will upload the video. I will upload the video. I'm mad. I'll give you control. I'll give you microphone first. Uh, hello. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. How are you? Uh, I just want to ask, like, uh, we are creating a website which also can be used as an application on a phone? Yes. All right, so any, uh, do we need to do any changes to the, uh, to the workflow or anything? Like uh, what, we, what changes should we do actually? Because when you download it on a phone, for example, sometimes it looks different from the web page itself. Yeah. So do we need to do those changes? Plus, um, how do we export it at the end to be published as a, or is that a choice uh, that will come at the end when we finish the project? Yeah. To okay. Let me ask. APK, for example, any, any other platform or Android or for any other platform. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the this uh, this system will allow you to do that. You can later publish it into Android or or iOS. But you need additional plugin to install. I will show you now the additional plugin to do. But when you design it as a web responsive, 
Responsive means it will adjust to the size of the device. So if you follow the way we were doing it, doing percentage and making sure no element is more than 480 uh, pixels, uh, things when you look at it on the phone, they will adjust themselves and they will look nice on the phone. Uh, websites, um, they, they, they have this technology for responsive design. If you use the percentage and adjust. Yeah, it, true, it, it, true. It, I, I get it. I, yes. yes. Uh, but if you want it to be at the end as Android, then you need to get a plugin. There is a plugin uh, to do. And also, when you create the page, let's look at our app, which we're doing. Let's close all these additional things, which we don't need. Go back to here and click on this app. We were working on it. Every page has uh, a number of, of things. If you double click anywhere, you will see here, this, uh, this page is a native app. If you do, do this one, respond this respond, bubble, will treat it as a native app. Yeah, so it means it will become similar to iOS and Android, that's one thing. The other right, thing- so On the main page, page, on the main page, right? So it should yes, be on the yeah. main page. Yeah. yeah, every page has to be like that. Every oh, every page. page. Okay. But also, there is a tool here, plugin, uh, I call native app. Native. Uh, here is it. Uh, this one, native app. If you install this one, this will cost you $16. This will give you at the end um, a source code that, can, that you can upload to Apple and to Android as well, to iOS and Android. So you can register it on app stores as a native uh, iOS app or on, on Android Play as a native Android Play. I see, I this, see. Uh, this yeah. you have to, to pay for it. But right. nowadays, most of the people are working on responsive pages because it doesn't require installing and installing and stuff like that. And it, it gives the same almost functionality. The browsers became now more advanced than before. So they have yeah. more sure. I have one more question, if, if I may. Yeah, uh, go ahead, please. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so here we have only created one uh, landing page. I mean, this is the, the, the first page and the last page. There is nothing, yeah. no yeah. other pages that are uh, included in our website. So only one. So is it possible to create a different, a different page? And uh, yes, yeah. how yeah. do we do this? Yeah, now I will do something for to show you to do that. So for example, we want to start now searching for the users and add some users to become our friends. We yeah, can put perfect. it in another page uh, right. to do that. And then we can, we can, we can, we can do this. Thank yeah? you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, uh, any other questions I can see? I have here uh, Zia. Zia, I didn't hear you today. I know I was running too fast, as you said last time. Tell me, Zia. Good afternoon. When I open my app today, whatever I created, deleted. On it. Mm -hmm. It's not deleted. I think you did something maybe different. Uh, no. It's not deleted. Show, show me your screen. I'll show you. Maybe it's hidden, not deleted. Nothing will be deleted unless you delete it. I'll give you a share screen. You can share screen now. Okay. Now you should be able to share. Wait. Did you see share screen down? Yes. The green one. I see it. Yeah, Where click. It? Yeah, share your screen. Nothing is deleted unless your father uh, deleted your stuff because you're using his account. Which one you were working on yesterday? 
bubble in school. I am in these two. You. Yeah. Oh, maybe you you ah uh, because you copied uh, um today is what today fourteen. Yeah, today fourteen. I think you deleted it, or maybe you logged in with a different account. Because, it's the same account. Look. Yeah, but maybe when you, you know, imported the template, you didn't select a new app. You said put it on the same app. Oh, that's and that removed the previous one. But maybe you, you can get it back. Click on on one of it. Click on the on on I think the one to the right. Yeah, this one. Let's see if we can retrieve uh, what you have done. No, I think, is this your previous one? Can you look at the element three? Elements three, yeah. No, if nothing, I think you, you, that's the challenge. You put it on top of the previous one. Can you go to the setting? There is a below plugins, there is settings. Yeah, very good. Uh, versions, click on versions. There is versions on the top. Yeah, below, beside, no, no, not that top. Yeah, this one, yeah, yeah. Now you can retrieve your old version. The last version you work on, uh, no, this are an old. Yeah, because you have a free one, so you cannot retrieve. If you have a paid one, then you will be able to retrieve even the things you deleted. Um, but maybe it's good for you uh, to, to practice and build it again. And uh, and one more thing. You sent the recordings for the first class today, but you did not send the second class. I didn't uh, understand. Can you repeat? You sent the first class's recording, but not the second one. Yeah, sorry, I didn't. I thought I down. I asked someone to do it, but seemed that he or she didn't. Uh, I have to see. I'll, I'll, I'll upload it today, inshallah. You are going to upload it in this one, right? The thing you told to say. Yeah, I will upload it today. Don't worry. Let's find where is it. Maybe I'll upload it now while you are here with me. So we can you can leave it upload, then you can find it. Let me download it first from Zoom. Can I stop sharing? Yeah, stop sharing, please. Yeah. We'll get it to be downloaded now and uploaded. Where is recording? Uh, the last one we did was yesterday. This is yesterday. We'll say download. Yes, downloading it and I'll upload it uh, today. You will see it then. Okay, let's do what we said we will do, uh, that we create another page. So far, we're doing only, only one page. Uh, I will send you back to attendees so you don't get confused. Let's do uh, create another page. So far, we're doing only one page. We'll have to know how if you can do multiple pages. Very nice. So, Let's do this. Okay. Now I'll go to, to create a new page. This is the main page. We need to create a new page. We can click here. You see this page index? Yeah. I click on the arrow down. Then I'll find create a new page. I'll call it friends. Let's call it friends. Yeah. So if I put this friends there, now I have a new page called friends. Just to make sure we, we understand uh, th this page. When you open the page, uh, friends, see this is friends. Now if you click here, there are two. I have index, which is the main page. I have friends, 
on the second page to do. Now this page, I need our first thing to make the layout is columned. I like this, as uh, you know, yeah. The other thing we can add header to it, but let's take the header from index. See in index, we have something called header, isn't it? This header is good, yeah? But I want to make it reusable. What does it mean? I need to create it as a reusable so I can use it in every page. I don't want to create a header for every page. I need every page to have the same header. So what I can do, I can do right mouse click and then uh, I can, uh, where is that one? Where is it? Convert to re reusable element. You see this one? This will make it reusable, means it, I can add it to any page and the same functionality of logging in, logging out, the name of the users, everything will be on that one. And if I change it, it's changed in every page. Yeah, so I need to convert it to reusable and I will call it header. So later I know it. Very good. Now it became reusable, became header. Yeah, and took me into a, a page. I'll go back to the index now. Here is the index, I have it. I go to the other page, friends. Now I need to add, I have some errors here, I'll fix them in a minute, yeah? I need to add the header here. I will find something here down called header. If I copy and paste and put it there, it is the header, the same header. Hmm? You see? So this is the header now became reusable. Let's fix those errors. First one, this one will be uh, the toggle one. I don't need any toggle one. This one actually I don't need. And the other one is for this new header, all those toggling, toggling, I don't need them at all, yeah? Now, if I go into index, I have the header is coming there. If I go into friend, the header is there. So I have two pages. Now, how I can move from one page to other page? I am now, say, in the index. I want to go to this other page. I need somewhere I can click to go to the other page. Yeah, so I can add either a button if I want or add something to, to that page. Let's add a button here. Say, call it friends. By the way, this format, they need to be better one. Let's fix it so it doesn't keep uh, doing those bad things. Let's go here in the edit. I'll go into the style. I need to remove the layout. Remember, every time I remove these things, I will remove it now. In the future, every one I add, it will not have. Okay, very good. So this is came friends. I need when I click on friends, it takes me to the new page. And then we'll design the new page to show our friends, yeah? So let's click here and we go to start edit workflow. So I click here on it. I want to go to another page. I want to go to another page. Should search for navigate and go to page. Navigate and go to I need to navigate, navigate to that page. So I click here. What is that page? I'll find all the pages I have here. The one I need is this one. I don't want to go to those other pages I need here. And now we are ready. If you go here in the design and preview this page, if we click on friend, takes us to that new empty page has nothing in it to do. By the way, the first page which the index seemed to have additional thing. Yeah, now we noticed. So 
that's that's what it is. So we are now in the friends. If you go back, we will be in, on that page. So that's basically how you can add as much as you want uh, pages. Uh, if this friend is is you want to add it as a menu, you can add it to the header, and this will become on every page that you click on it. It takes you to friend. So if I delete this one from here, I want to add it to the header. So I go to the header, and I'll find uh, here the header. To go to the header here. And by the way, we can remove this one now and replace it with with the with the header. Watch this one. Put it there, and we'll say make it first. So now we have our proper header there. Now, if I click on this header. I will find something here, edit element, which I'm editing the header. It takes me to something that looks like a page. I can now add some additional things to it. So this one, I want to make it maybe uh, the height will make it maybe 40, yeah? Or, or something. Let's make it to be, no, this should be 24, sorry. Here we'll give it maybe a more height. So we'll give it uh, 90 and give this one 90. So it became a little bigger. I can make it 120 maybe. Yeah, 120. Why I'm doing this? Because I need to add some buttons down here. So I'll go and create a group. Take a group from here. Group, the group. I'll add them here, this group. I'll make them uh, row. I will give them percentage 100. Okay, I'll make them the last, so they appear here. And this group is now 100. We will give it maybe 60 down here, just to give space, and later we can adjust. Now, I want to create a menu of, of different buttons here. So I can do that as well. So if I click here and add this one, we call it friends, friends, this outline, friends, friends. Yeah, and maybe we add another one. Let's make it center. We'll make it center. We'll give it five from here and five from here. We'll add another one, call it uh, Habs, or whatever I want to call it. And now I can create more pages. This one should be height is zero. Okay. And from the bottom, we will give it 10. So we'll have some space between from top 10. See, I change these things in the header. Yeah. If I go to any page now, index, I'll see the changes came. I need just to move this one uh, down. If I go to the other page, uh, friends, the changes there. Yeah. So these are really beautiful way of uh, of building. Uh, this will okay, make it ninety. Uh, make it. And uh, don't uh, someone calling me? I don't know why. I know now who is calling me. Sorry, sorry, I'll come back to you. And if you go into the index, we'll make this 120. Very good. So now we added all this. The challenge is I want to add the functionality. If you click on friend, it takes you to the fringe page. Okay, so I click here and click here, and we will say, navigate to page, friends. Very good. What is it, friends, sorry, friends. And the other one, maybe we should call it home. Hmm, should be home, I think. So if you click on this plugin, and we go to, to we are in the header, so we'll call this one home, home, for example. 
and we'll make it as you want first. And now in our page, if you click here, we can see we can go to friends, which has nothing in it. We cannot go home because we didn't add home. So we need to click here and say go home, click, click, navigate, go to page index. So this is the navigation now. Then we can click here, we go to friends, we click here, we go to home. And that's it. And click friend, we can go home. Only thing the friends, you have nothing in the friends. Yeah. Let's do in the friends something. So let's go to the friends. We need to display the names of all the people in their pictures. And then I can click on request a friend and he or she will get a request to accept me or reject me uh, to, to do. So let's do that by repeating group. Anytime you want to display data, large data, more than one record, more than one person, more than one product, you can use repeating group. So repeating group, put it in the middle. We will make it row. Usually repeating group row, um, row and make it in the middle. Give it some 20 from up and 20 from down. And we come here and we start thinking what we need to do. You can see the red one, that means you need to, to give supply. So what title of that one? type of content. So we need to provide the type of content that you want to display. The type of content here will be users. And who want to display? We want to display all users. So I click here and select users. Last time I told you the same thing. This one and this one should be the same. Now we can apply some conditions here, but we'll do them later. Like I need my only my friends or I need others, we can we can we can do do that. But now let's do it like that. Now, I, as you can see, it display only four rows. I don't want I want every row. Yeah, the maximum height of the row I want it to be forty. Yeah, see now I have multiple rows. Each one is highest forty. What I want to display I want to display the picture, the name and the email address. Why I do the email? Because some of you did not put their name. So I can find you by the email. So let's do this here and center it first. And this is the picture. So we'll click here. What you want to do, current cell user, always with the repeating group, you need the first one will come is the right one, most of the time. Here, I want to display the pictures, profile picture, done. Then I'll get a text. Now I know some students what they do. They add the text and they want to add the image to the text. Of course, you cannot add the image to the text. You need to add the image to an image, isn't it? So that you need to remember, you add the image to the image. Now here we need to add the name of that person. So we come back here. What? First one, current cell user. And then we need the full name. Done. We need, after that, we need to put the email. So we come here, change this one, and put email. There is also the phone number and stuff we're not going to display. Now let's make space between these things. So I'll get here uh, space five. So it's 55. Five, and then five, five, and five, five. Yeah, looks very good. Now, if you come here, you will see now, you will appear now on the page. Hmm? Who are the user here? I have only myself here. I think what we did, we said current user, search for all, all users. Um, 
What's the time? Okay, still we have time. And uh, unmute myself. Okay, so we're displaying users, all users, elements. Uh, I think we have to look at the security of this group. So we'll go here, look at the privacy, we'll look at the users, and we'll say make it searchable. Your attachment and do that. Let's see. Now, here are all of you. Those who added pictures are here, and those who didn't add pictures. So these are the users. I can add here, request a friend, and then this person will, will see yeah. that I was requested, and then he will accept it. If he accepts it, next time he will appear in a list, maybe here I can add. I can add a search. I can type the name of a person, and then I find the people. Then I can, I can uh, assign them uh, to me. These things you can use not only for a social media. You can use for product. Like you, you have some products you want to you sell, or uh, you have a store. You can do, do the same thing. Notice what, to display this list. I went into the users and I allowed. Uh, searching and attaching file. This is not important, but this is the most important to do. Now you can see this is the friends page. They are not my friends yet. You are my friends, uh, but I didn't um, assign you um, a request. That's what I meant. You are not my friends because I didn't request you and you didn't approve it. I'm just displaying everything here as example. Now I should uh, limit this one. This is important. This group, I will say it should be hidden. No one can see it, except if the people log in. So I do, I do a condition here. By default, I made it hidden. It's not visible. I'll add a condition here, say, if the uh, current uh, user uh, is logged in, then show this page. So it doesn't appear to anyone. It appears only to the people who logged in. Others, if I log out, I can't see it. Only when I log in, it should uh, start showing. Same that I removed log in. From, from from my page. We will do that from the header. Where is, oh yeah, because you have the, when we did the header, we didn't move. This is a good mistake. When we did the header, we should have moved the, this uh, one. This one should also be copied with that header, but we didn't copy it. So let's copy it now. So you have copy here with workflow. Copy with workflow, you copy it. I'll take it to the header because I made a reusable thing and I didn't do the right thing. So paste with workflow. Very good. Now, if I click on log in, this is why it was giving me an error. I want to say element, sorry, element, sorry, what's the name of this? Show login window. Now back, my login will work now, hopefully. I click login. Uh, Login, there's something missing in the login as well because I deleted something I should not have copied. Okay, so this one should be visible. I can create a login, no issue. 
So when you click here, we should see show show login. Go home. Oh, very good. Logan, I think this log in in the header. Log in in the header. We just destroyed it. This log in is destroyed and remove it. I'll find and build another log in here. I'll make it center. Let's see if this will work. But there are issues I caused to my app, which will take me a few minutes to fix it. Yeah, it's here. And now I can log in. The only thing I need to do is I need to go to this window login. I click here. Remember last time we did this one? When you click here, I need to say after you log in, element, uh, not this one, sorry, not this one. Where is the login? This is button login. I need to hide my pop-up window. And in the log out, page log out, sign in, this one, we will say element hide pop-up, okay. Now, I made the, the, the header uh, responsive, yeah deleted some of the things that I should not have deleted. But anyway, I am here. I think my username is this one. Yes, so I am logged in. If I go to friend, I see the friends with no issue. If I log out, they will disappear. So if someone comes, if I log in again, uh, it, it will appear. So this is a security. You manage what people they can see based on, on multiple things. In this case, they can see because of logged in. But later when we assign friends, you will see here only your friends. Your friends will appear. Other friends will not appear because they're not your friends, friends with someone else or, or your, your network, you can call it. Your network of people will appear here, but the other one will not, will not, will not appear. Now we'll go, if you go back to the friends page, okay, you see this one here, it disappeared. This I want you to know, where is it? Oh, deleted? No, not deleted. Actually it's here, this is the repeating group. Be why? Because by default, I made the layout is hidden. So the only way to find it, you go here in the tree and you click on it. Otherwise, it will be hidden. Hidden for you when you design, but when you run the code, it appears if you are logged in, uh, in place. Now, if I want to add this as my friend, I need to add people to my friend. We have time, we have 11 minutes. Let me show you that. Now, if I want to add a button here and say request a friend, okay? Let's do a button here. And we will select this one and we will make this one say 60. Okay. And let's make the email smaller, 200, so we can get space there and make this one 200 as well. Usually, people's names are not long, like uh, our names. 90 or yeah um, and say let's say just request request okay. 
So when I click here, I want to request him to be my friend. Okay. So how I can do that? At the moment, if you look, you will see that request come there. I click on it, nothing will happen. Yeah. Now, how we do that? We need to have um, on the database, need to go to the database. I'll go to the user, data user, database, data type, user. And I need to add here something, request, request. We'll call it request. And in request, I'll have users and should be a list. So these people who requested to be my network, in my network, okay? That's one. The other one I can have approved. Approved users, approved friends, yeah? And this is again users and it is list. You see, it's similar to thumb up and thumb down, which we had on the post. So you have a list of requests, people who requested to be my friend and people who I approved, okay? Now let's do this it's very simple exercise. Now, if I click on this one, I need to add this user to my request and remove him from approve if he is an approve. Or, um, uh, I'm sorry, if I add him to my request, that's only thing, yeah? So I will add my name to his request. Now I'll click here. I need to say now, data, make change. Make change to whom? To this user, current user cell, yeah? What I changes I want to do, I need to increase the request. In the request, I need to add myself, which I am the current user. So now I'm saying, please add me to your request. So I'm in his or her request, but he or she still did not approve me as a friend, but I will appear in his or her uh, request. Once I do that, I need also, I can hide the button, yeah? This button will be hidden. But now I will not hide it. I don't want to confuse you, but let me hide it. So we'll say here, if I am already in the request of this person, don't show the button and that's easy. So, so this current user uh, request, if it contains, current user, then don't show this button. Okay, let's show you that now how, how it will work and you can start testing it yourself. Now I requested this person to be my friend, uh, uh, Kisha, yeah? And then requested the other one, requested this one, I don't know who was there, but these people I requested, they're not appearing uh, anymore. I can't request them anymore. Now, how they will know if I requested them? Let's add a list here on this side with people who requested to be, to be my, my friends. We'll add them here, yeah? Let's add the list here on the side of people who requested to be my, my friend. I will do it, uh, the two ways to do it. One is we add another group, a repeating group, so repeating group. So we want to display people who requested to be to be our friend. Now we'll do it this way. You can see it's because this is uh, columned. So this is up, this is down. I want them to be a row. So I select this one and I select this one. And I say, make them row. You see now they are coming beside each others. I want to push this guy to the right, to the next, yeah? And we will uh, say from top, similar to, to his neighbor, we'll have 20 from top and 20 from down, okay? And we'll give them 10 from left, so there is space between them. And I want to give it the size of 200, like that, okay? 
Now, people who requested to be my friends will appear here. I'll make them appear here. Yeah. So how I do that? Again, I go back to here. I will remove this one. So I need more. I'll make this one just 40. Okay. Here I will select users and current user request. Where is that request? Now, basically what I said, this data will display people who requested to be my friend. I am the current user who requested me will be in this that list. And let's do quickly add the image of each one. See, okay, need to make sure you are with that red one. So we click here, we say uh, current cell user uh, image, okay? Anyway, this one, we need to make it a row. So things looks like that. So that's the image and we can center it. We will add the email because some of you did not put their name. So I will add the email here just now. Usually I will add the name, but because I gave you the option to do it without name, you, you became free to do it. But anyway, let's click here, current user uh, email. Now, if any of you have requested to be my friends or on my network, they will now appear. Okay, there are two of you requested that and they are appearing on my list of requests. If I, now I can add functionality to click here and this person, Imad and others will become in my friends or my in my approved list. Now they are not in my approved list uh, uh, to do. They are in the request list and we can add maybe on the top of this one here, if you want, we can add a title up there saying this is request friend, but you understand what I want to do. I leave the beauty of design to become uh, your, uh, your, your part. But, but one way, if you want to add a title to it, let's say, uh, say this one to call it request, I'll add here and say request, yeah. And then I will group this one and this one into a column. See, and I'll make this one maybe instead of all this to be affixed, I'll make it 250 to look nicer. Request, I can make this request bold if I want, make it bold. I'll make it maybe 18 and I can play with it the way I want to play with it. This one's it. See, now you can see those who requested to join my network being added here. And as I said, I can add the button here and see approved or reject or whatever. And once I click, it will update my list of approved by adding this person, I collect his his name, and this way you can grow your 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 network. So we have done a lot of things today. But again, practice is the solution. You need to practice more. Please practice, and uh, look at the videos that I did show you. Uh, Bubble, they have so many resources in place. You go here, resources. You see so many resources. Just make sure when you get a template, don't uh, put it on top of your complete uh, project and you delete your project. Create a new app. These apps are free and look at the template, review it, do whatever you want to do, and then, then do that uh, if, if you want. And you can look at all different aspect videos, as I said, are really beautiful here. You can learn everything you want to learn. Uh, you can search here. For example, I want to know how to use repeating group. You say just repeating group, then you will find the videos talking about how to, to use repeating group, and then you do repeating group. And there are tutorials as well. Uh, let's remove this one. 
and some tutorials here. If you select tutorial, these are tutorial, how to create card, how to understand the columns, uh, and, and so on. They are very good documented uh, the way they have done it. And if you look at the support also, you will find maybe some useful things. And here, this is your apps that you are, you are building to do. Okay, uh, I wish you a great uh, practice time. Uh, enjoy it, I'll upload the video now, I'll leave it uploading, uh, and then you will find it. Uh, this will be the video of yesterday, we'll upload the video of today later, because Zoom will take a little bit time to, to do that. Uh, that's all. Thank you. I wish you a good time. Bye-bye.